Hey guys, Dylan here. Um, today I'm showing you how to make there be a password on screen one for your app so that, that everybody can get in. <laughs> um, first off, well, in my opinion, I wanted to p put screen one a line horizontal in the center so that it's not just like up up in the top left, and then put a line vertical in the center so that's not like right here. <laughs> But this is probably going to be split up into a two-part video because it took me a little bit to figure this out and I might not explain it well. But here we go. Um, you're going to want to just drag in out a table arrangement. It will automatically be in the center because of what you did. Just you'll want to leave it at two rows, two columns. Um, you are going to want to drag in a label and name it username and then another label and name it password. Next, you are going to want to click and drag out the text box and put it next to the username one, then password text box next to the password one. Crap, I need to make this have no text. Okay, did I, did I just not do that then? Can I just not do that then? <laughs> Can I go back to that? Okay, but then it will look like this. You just wanna, well, I I prefer to just leave everything at normal, height. Besides normal height and width, except for this now. Never mind. I'll put it back to automatic. <laughs> okay, and then you are going to want to click and drag out a button. <laughs> and then it will automatically be right here. And you are going to want to name it Login. And actually, as you can see, I actually have some other stuff here that is non-visible. You'll see that later, but if that is all you want, um, there you go. But, in, here we go into blocks. Yeah, like I said, it's fairly complicated. But, um, as you can see here, it is very complicated. <laughs> um, now... Right. I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. I thought I wanted to change something. Nope, I don't. So yeah, you're going to <laughs> you're going to want to go to login. When login one, well, when login click, then you're going to want to go into control, click and drag out an if and then thing. Next, you're going to want to go into logic and click and drag out the the connector for blank and blank, and then also. You're going to want to connect it to the if, and then come in here and, and click and drag out two of these, put, wait, yeah, two of these, put the first one in the first spot, and the second one in the second spot. One after that, you are going to want to go to your label no, you're going to want to go to your text box and go down to text, password text, click and drag that out, and then equals, and then whatever your username, whatever you want your username to be for the correct username, and then you go to password text box, and then you click and drag out password text box one hint, I mean, pa password text box one dot text equals whatever you want your password to be, and then, yeah, <laughs> this is all optional, honestly, it's just optional, except for the button one visible to say that you can go to a different screen, and on this one, I put, um, you have the wrong password or username, but then I put on something that then it says, um, crap, then, this button too says 
so I've unlocked a secret. And yeah, and it's just a lot. <laughs> but I also made the correct one have green and then this one have red. So yeah. All just the little things to me. <laughs> and then I name the button I put button one which is the right one for you were right. That's the screen name. Then the button two, which is this one that says you have unlocked a secret. You were wrong. And then yeah, these things that's just for the label visible is just for this to be able to be visible. And this is a different plant size so that it'll fit on the screen, obviously. And then, yeah, that's just the visible part. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I'd be good at explaining this. Actually, I kind of knew I wouldn't be good at explaining this. But, let's head on over to the You Were Wrong screen. Actually, you can, like, you can just make it so that it just has this part and it opens up the actual app. But, um, but since I'm just doing a tutorial, I'm not going to make a whole other app after it. So here I put, ha, psych, you are wrong, now go back and try again. And then you click this to go back to screen one. Come on. <laughs> Button one click, open another screen, screen name, screen one. And then if you go to the you are right, Kind of same thing, but if it was right, then you could make it actually go to an app that you made. But as far as I've been able to tell, this has to be your screen one, or the the login thing has to be your screen one, or else it won't be the first screen that it loads to. So yeah, can this thing please load? Oh wait, it probably did. Just you going to the sign up. <laughs> yeah, I put good job, you're right, click me to head on back. And then it just brings you back. And actually, that is kind of all. <laughs> it's not that complicated to figure it out. But I am going to be doing a separate little um, video on my phone showing you how that it will work and all of that. So yeah, actually, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!